Come on, we have a train to catch. Literally. Oh, jump! Yes! Nice! What is up everyone? I am you Phoenix, how are you getting on? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. And I am in one of the new cars that I got last time from a wheel spin. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it was called again. What was the name of it again? The HSV Gen F GTS. Uh, I have no idea where this car is from, but judging by the fact that it's right hand drive, I'm gonna guess it's Australia. I'm pretty sure it is, because, but if not, well, <laughs> I can't help it. I just don't know this car. Uh, I'm going to test it out on the way to our second barn find. Let's see if we can find it. Let's see what it is. I have no clue whatsoever what it is. And other than that, I'm probably going to do a race or two, maybe the cross country race. We'll see. So first off, let's see how this car sounds. Okay, it definitely has a V8 engine, and it sounds really nice. It has enough power too, you know, not too much, but still enough. It has enough grip, and it sounds good enough. It's, it's an okay all-round car, you know? It's not the best thing ever, but it's not the, not the worst thing either. I do like the color on it though. The purple fits it quite good. Okay, we're here. So, this barn should be somewhere in this area. Now the question is, where? It's obviously gonna be hidden somewhat. Well, there's a house over here, but don't think that's the barn. Must be here somewhere. Fast travel. Oh. So Kira told me about. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> it is kind of stupid that you have to unlock that though, because in most games, fast travel is just free. But I guess not in this one. I am gonna find it eventually. It really started to snow now, though. <laughs> oh, Mr. Barn. Where are you? Come out of hiding. Aha! I think I found it. Yes, I did. I saw it between the bushes. It was hidden quite well, actually. How did you find another? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I asking? Be there soon. Okay. Oh! It's a Subaru this time. <laughs> Will you have a look at that? One for me, finally. It's an Impreza 22B, an old rally gem. Only a small cool. handful were imported into the UK, so this is a really rare find. Come on, let's get it fixed up. Yeah. <laughs> it needs a lot of fixing. I'll get it back to the but it's okay. I even keep this one for myself. No, you won't. It's gonna be mine. We're so close to the next showcase event, though. Okay, I think next up I'm gonna do the cross-country series. Whatever that's supposed to be. I haven't actually tried that race before, so we'll have to see. Judging by the fact it's called cross-country, I don't think this is the best car for it. Probably better off picking something with all-wheel drive. Screw it, we'll try it anyway, see how it works. <laughs> oh. Ah, I was wondering when I'd see you for my cross-country series. Ah. I'm starting to think you wouldn't show up. Hey, before we kick off round one, let's get you set up with some new wheels, shall we? Yes, I'm gonna get a car for this. Oh, that's perfect. I can choose between the Dodge Ram 2500, uh, the Volkswagen Class 5 1600 Baja Bug, or the Land Rover Range Rover Sport SVR. Hmm. I, I'm not the biggest fan of trucks, personally. And definitely not this one, so I'm definitely not gonna go for that. This one is really cool, but I do like Range Rovers. Hmm. 
Well, since I don't have an SUV yet, I'm gonna go with the Range Rover SVR. Aye, Sounds good. Handle the conditions nicely. And it's probably the most powerful out of the three, too. This is gonna be fun. We're up against all kinds of SUVs. Uh, Jaguar F-Pace, Porsche Cayenne, Lamborghini Urus. I would have thought the Lamborghini Urus would be a little bit more powerful, but oh well. Uh, Bentley Bentayga, yeah, sounds good to me. First drive in this car as well. Well, I have enough for the showcase event next time. Sounds alright this car. It's not that bad. Not great, but not bad. The inside is very luxurious, obviously. It's still a Range Rover. Oh, here comes the jump. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's overtake some of these guys if we can. That's two. That's three. Nice. Here's the Urus. There's the Bentayga. You know, Range Rovers are really cool, but still, in real life, I think I would choose the Bentayga. I don't know, it's something about that car is really appealing to me. The luxury, but still the speed, you know. And I think it looks good. I know a lot of people don't, but I like it. But this Range Rover SVR isn't that bad either. But where are we now? Whose terrain is this that we're driving on? Okay, so as far as the actual race goes, it seems to be a lot of off-road. But also some tarmac. Oh, that was it. Shorter than I expected. Well, we made it in first place. That's all that matters. Okay, more money. But I also got influence. Nice. Next up is another car. And I have enough for the winter showcase. Is that a steam train? The Flying Scotsman. Okay. And we got another wheel spin. Come on. Come on. Oh! Well, it's a car. A Chrysler V8 Valiant Charger RT E49. From 1972. Cool. Old American muscle, huh? I'll definitely be giving that a try later. Hey, Phoenix. This winter showcase is going to be incredible. I bet I need it a is. I'm a driver I can rely on with a proven record who doesn't mind the cold. What do you say? All I need you to do is catch a train into Edinburgh. Okay. So we're gonna race against the train, I'm guessing. This car does look good too, though. Honestly, it it really does. But, I think I would change the rims on it. They're a little bit too small for my liking. I know it's meant for off-roading, but uh, I would like them a little bigger. And we have another wheel spin to do. Let's see what we get this time. Come on, something good. Something great. Oh, that was close. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> Short leather jacket. Eh, it is how it is. Let's do some upgrades as well. Lottery, sure. Lock this perk. Um, your car scale multiplier builds twice as fast. People love your car. Gain a permanent 10% increase. Uh, you can earn 5% more skill score from combo skills. What is this though? Juggernaut? You earn a 20% extra influence for the next 10 cross-country events. Cool. You earn 30% more skill score from air skills. Get an instant 5000 skills influence. I can do a wheel spin. I can choose between two, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> nice. Here it is. Come on. Once more. Okay, that's another car. The RX-8 R3. Nice. Okay, that is it for now. 
We're probably gonna get a lot of more stuff here. 20,000 credit reward. Nice. More influence. I need 200,000 to qualify for Horizon Spring. Okay, let's continue in the dark. In our SVR. Yeah, you know... Not a lot of people are fans of SUVs, but I like them. I can appreciate them for what they are. And I'm ha I'm just happy we got this for free, to be honest. I'm never turning down a free car, that's for sure. The time of day does change pretty fast in this game, you know? I'm still driving towards my objective. And it's already getting daytime again. Taking the shortcut here towards the object. Oh god! Shit! Arrived at your destination. Yes, I have solo mode. So, what are we gonna do? Oh, an aerial atom, huh? So, an aerial atom against a steam train. Now let's actually beat a train here. It's fast. Holy crap! Who expected to be a steam? Who expected the steam train to be that fast, huh? How am I supposed to win this? I have much more ground to cover too. Oh, we're going into the same tunnel. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is really cool. Go! Oh, what? It suddenly sped up by like a hundred miles an hour. Okay, maybe not that much, but you get what I mean. Come on, we have a train to catch. Literally. Oh, jump! Yes! Nice! Nice going! Get out of my way, dear! I'm racing here. Okay, we need to pass it. Come on! We can do this! Come on! Come on! We're so close to the end! How are we gonna win? I don't even see where it is! Are we even gonna win? Holy crap! It's too far ahead though! No! I'm not gonna make it! Did I make it? I did make it! Wow, that was close. So much for the flying Scotsman. We might have to start at the <laughs> Two tenths line. of a second. All I know is next time. Two tenths of a second. That was so close. Okay. I got a car. Again. I'm getting cars left and right here. Ford RS 200. Nice. I might not have it in. And Just another wheel sure spin. Qualify, yeah? And we got a Fiat 124 Sport Spider. That looks a lot like the other convertible I have. <laughs> new car to collect. A new car has been added to your garage. Please let the game... No. <laughs> I don't want to raid it right now. What am I supposed to look at though? I have 21 cars now. That's insane. Uh, okay, so we have this car, which is new. A C557, a D244, so a really slow car, <laughs> but that's alright. And we got the RS200 Evolution, which is an S1 class also, so it's also really fast. And really worth a lot. Then we have the RX8, which is a B class, but it's fine, you have to have cars in all classes, you know. And that's it. That's everything new we got. So, we have quite a few cars now. Am I actually still missing a certain series here? I know I'm missing the S2 class and the X class, but that's a special class. Uh, but other than that, I think I have everything. I have D, I have C, B, A, and S1. So, yes. We're pretty much good all around, for now. However, a car that I am still missing in this collection right now is a supercar, you know? You kind of want a supercar like a Ferrari or something like that. 
Because I might have cars that are on par with such a car, but I want such a car too, if that makes any sense. In classic. Oh, we got so another bar find rumor. Now. I'm into it if you are. Oh, and the other car is done oh. already. <laughs> wow. So we got the next one. Wait, where is it? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's number three already. And apparently the Subaru is also already done. So I'm gonna check that out next episode. But for now, I'm gonna end this episode here. Anyway, this was you, Phoenix. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe now for more to come. Until then, be brave, be kind, and stay awesome.